Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, last summer I did a load of courses, eBay related courses, on a site called Skillshare. And now I've decided to migrate those courses over from that website to YouTube. So there's going to be loads of different beginner courses that are going to be coming over here uh, for you guys to view on this YouTube channel. So with that being said, the next video you're going to, uh, going to see is obviously one of those courses. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoy. Hi there Skillshare and welcome to another class. So in today's class we're going to be discussing how you can get free packaging supplies for your business. Now I have an eBay business, obviously I need a lot of packaging supplies and packaging supplies as you are probably aware if you uh, have come across this video because you've searched in uh, searched a term something like eBay uh, then I'm assuming you're gonna be an eBay reseller an Amazon reseller something like that and you will be aware obviously that packaging supplies are not cheap boxes are not cheap uh, bubble wrap is not cheap uh, styrofoam and air pillows all that sort of stuff is not cheap um, and generally the way you want to be doing business is being cost efficient and you want to make sure that you are obviously uh, looking at your costs, sitting down, looking at your costs and thinking where can I cut back on my spending because after all, you know, being a small business, you don't necessarily have loads of money like these multinational corporations. So you do have to work on a budget and you have to make sure that you are cutting costs wherever you can. So in this course, as I mentioned, I am going to be talking about a few of the different ways I actually get free boxes, free packaging materials, and it's actually not as hard as you may think. You do have to do a little bit of legwork, but I'm going to explain different things within the next few videos. So stick with me if you would like to learn about this topic and I will see you in the next video. So then, welcome to the first segment of this class. So basically, the first one is quite easy, but a lot of people disregard it because they may think, I don't know whether I'm going to get enough packaging supplies from doing this method. So this method is very, very simple. It's simply ask family and friends for boxes, packing materials, things like that. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I actually get enough from family and friends? The fact is, you might not be able to get enough packing materials from fam family and friends, especially if you're doing 50, 60, 70 sales a week, and you have to have 50, 60, 70 boxes. Uh, you're probably not going to get enough from family and friends to do that. However, it is a nice complementary thing to actually doing a few of the other things I'm going to be talking about as well. It gives you a nice little extra bit of packing materials um, alongside obviously doing a few of the other things I'm going to be talking about in the next segment. So yeah, basically if you have, I'm sure in your family, I'm sure one of your friends has uh, somewhat of an addiction to buying uh, things off Amazon, maybe using Amazon Prime and then they obviously get a load of Amazon Prime boxes and they get all those lovely um, air pillows as well that go with them. So what I'd like you to do, obviously if you need to get free boxes, first off just ask family and friends. Get pinpoint someone you know who does do quite a bit of buying online and just go forward and just ask them and probably because they're a friend or a family member, they're probably more than happy to help you out and you may get maybe three, four boxes a week from them and within those boxes they may, may have air pillows, they may have a little bit of bubble wrap, all that sort of stuff. So. It's actually really, really brilliant to, to do that. Now, the other thing I would suggest with doing this idea is actually um, going around about five or 10 different friends or family members and asking each individually uh, sort of, you know, do you do you get many boxes? Are you buying a lot of, of things online? If you do, could could I have them? Um, I'll ob I obviously need to use them in my eBay business and I'll obviously recycle them. So obviously they're probably more than happy to do that because they're gonna throw them out anyway. But if you've got five or 10 family members or friends doing this each week, you're actually gonna get quite a few bits and bobs in through the door. You're gonna get quite a few boxes. You're gonna get quite a few 
uh, bits of air pillows and bubble wrap and, and maybe these things are just scraps uh, and things that might not see you for a long time. However, uh, obviously it all just adds to the pile of packaging materials you are actually getting. Now, there may be some people this will work brilliantly for because as I say, maybe a few people in their family or their friends do buy a lot of stuff online and they may be able to get a lot of boxes and a lot of packaging materials from this method. There might be other people that this might not work as well for because maybe none of their family members or friends buys that much online and they don't get, therefore they don't get much packing material. So it really depends on, you know, how, bi how many friends you have and how big your family is and obviously what those family members or friends do, whether they do buy a lot of stuff online. But even just um, aside from that, just letting friends and family members know that you are after boxes, you are after packaging materials is still a good thing because maybe they might not have them, but maybe they know someone else who has them or can get them regularly. And then they may ask that person on your behalf and then you may get more packing materials. So it's always worth, obviously, doing that. I actually, my granddad gets me quite a lot of boxes from other people that I, I don't even know, um, but they ha they buy a lot online. Um, my granddad asks ask them, obviously when he goes round, he goes round these places on a regular basis uh, for actually a, a different uh, matter. And when he's round there, he will ask to see if he's got any more boxes and then he will bring them back. And I get loads of boxes just by doing that. So, and that isn't even really that was just from me asking my granddad to get, you know, is there any, do you know anywhere that has boxes? And then him, him going out and doing a little bit of legwork himself and uh, bringing back boxes for me there. So all these different things, family and friends are always going to be happy to help. And uh, you can actually get quite a lot of boxes if you have a nice range of people that you ask and that are obviously keeping them for you. So yeah, I will leave it for this segment, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So, I don't know whether you'll be aware of this, it really depends on uh, what level of eBay store you have or whether you even have an eBay store at all, but if you have the featured shop or the anchor shop on eBay, uh, you actually qualify for a packing materials voucher. And for me in the UK, I have a featured store and I get £10 a month free of packaging materials. And if you have an anchor store, I believe it's 20 or £25. Obviously, if you're in the US, it may be $10 and $20 or something like that. But the principle is still the same. So if you actually have one of these stores, so you have the mid-level store or the high-level store on eBay, you will get... Um, a packaging material voucher that you can actually, you'll get it in a message. I don't know quite when it is, it might be sort of near the start of the month, and it will come in a message in your eBay. And then you can, it will give you a, a discount voucher code that's worth obviously the £10 or the £20. And then you can click through, it'll give you a link to the actual store that has all the packaging materials in, and you can get sort of boxes, you can get uh, tape, you can get bubble wrap all that sort of stuff um, for free up to the voucher amount. So it's actually something that a lot of people don't use or don't utilize. They may actually have the voucher, but they just forget about it and leave it and don't actually use it. So if you do have one of those stores, I would encourage you to use this voucher. Uh, generally, what I do is use it on, well, I used to use it on boxes, but now I try and use it on other supplies, so poly mailers and things like that, because boxes are quite easy to come by free. And that's the one thing that you'll really uh, find once you start sourcing packaging materials for free, you'll find that boxes are the easiest to come by and things like bubble wrap are the holy grail that you might hardly ever find free. So generally, bo uh, boxes I won't buy on there anymore, um, or well, I won't use the packaging voucher on there for, because I can get loads of those for free. So I'll actually be strategic and use it for something else um, that maybe I can't source for free as much. So obviously you can do that and that's a way of actually getting uh, some packaging materials other than boxes or if you want to choose boxes you can. But it's a good way of actually getting some free uh, packaging materials other than boxes um, which yeah is brilliant. So if you aren't using the packaging voucher please do use it to your advantage. Um, it will really really help you out. And you can actually get these like, um, what I used to do is I used to get the boxes and I used to get the very small 
sort of that sort of size box. Um, and generally, they're really, really good for things that I sell, uh, things like die cast action figures, you know, like sort of wrestling figures that are that tall, they go nice and neatly in the box if I want them to go in a box. Uh, otherwise, I may put them in a jiffy bag. Um, but obviously, if I've not got jiffy bags in stock, then I can put them in the boxes. And obviously, that is a box that I've got for free. So, yeah, I used the boxes. I used to get the boxes. I believe they did come in under the packaging voucher now. It's important to state that obviously if you want something on the site that's £15, then you can apply your voucher code, but you will obviously have to pay the extra £5. But that might still be worth it. However, obviously, if we're talking about free packaging materials in this uh, class, then obviously that isn't quite qualifying as free. But it is a good way. You might want to spend £15 and pay that extra £5 to get something that is maybe a little bit more substantial from that voucher. So that's always an option as well that's in there. But definitely use that voucher if you get it. Obviously, as I said, it will be in your eBay messages. So just keep checking your eBay messages for that message from eBay about that packaging voucher. But as I say, if you've got a basic store or you've not got a store on eBay, you won't get this uh, privilege, basically. So... Yeah, I will leave this segment here and we will go on to the final segment. So guys, this final segment is probably the most important. So when you are around your local town or maybe you're in a city, generally there will be supermarkets. Maybe, you know, if you're in the US, I don't know whether you call them supermarkets, but let's say they're superstores. Um, then you're going to find these big superstores, these big supermarkets um, that have rows and rows and rows of, of products on, obviously. And generally to get those products on the shelves, they come in big uh, lorries in big boxes and well all sorts of different sizes of boxes and what you can do is when um, maybe the, the best time for me here in the UK is sort of Saturday morning um, and generally what you can do is go into these supermarkets and they will be stocking up uh, the shelves for the coming day with loads of different new products you know food products toys games all that sort of stuff however we're not interested in that we're interested in the boxes because these boxes will usually go on a big sort of cage so it'll be a big cage like this and then we'll stack the boxes up inside it all nicely flat packed these boxes are double walled so they're nice thick some of them are single walled they're all different sizes, some are this big, some are this big, some are this big, really, you know, really random different sizes. So brilliant, brilliant uh, things for us as resellers because we get different products in different sizes. Or maybe you're not a reseller, but you just need boxes. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're a reseller, to be honest. This can apply to anyone who just wants free packaging. Um so basically, or just free boxes, even a perfect example would be someone who's moving house. This would be brilliant for someone who's moving house because they don't have to pay the ridiculous charges that they're getting charged for per box, you know, one or two pound per box, and they may need 50, 60 boxes. That's a lot of expense, uh, maybe even more than that, to be honest, but that's a lot of expense for uh, just a few boxes. So yeah, generally, even if you're moving house, brilliant way is to go into these supermarkets obviously you will have to ask you don't necessarily need to get a manager's permission but just ask someone who is maybe stacking the shelves there it would it be okay for me to take these boxes generally these boxes are just going to get thrown out anyway the, the company isn't going to use them again so they'll be more than happy in most circumstances to let you have them get a nice big bag with you and uh, shove loads of different size boxes that you need in the bag and take it to the to your car. So nice and easy, really, really simple, great way to get boxes is that way. Now, um, the other way is obviously in the UK, this is a little bit of a grey area, so I can't really condone doing this in the UK unless you've read too much more into this. However, in the US, um, in certain states, they do allow dump, dumpster diving. Now, I'm not talking about dumpster diving for getting free items to sell on eBay. That's another class all, in, all on its own, really, um, that I'm sure a lot of people would be interested to hear about. But actually getting um, boxes and getting packaging materials from dumpsters. So if in your state, let's say you live in the US, if in your state you know it's okay to dumpster dive, 
then you want to go behind these big supermarkets or big superstores and um, look in the dumpsters there and more than likely they've got boxes, they've got styrofoam, they've got bubble wrap, all the different things, all those packaging materials that have been used to get the products to their stores and you can just go in that dumpster, clear them all out, obviously if an employee walks out and sees you doing it, just simply say, am I okay to take these, da 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 da, but if dumpster diving is okay within your state then there shouldn't be a problem there anyway, even if an employee weren't to come out, you should be okay to take those items, um, but yeah, if an employee comes out, you make, make, it wet, make them aware of, uh, you know, obviously what you're doing, you want to make sure that you have clarity with these people, don't get into an argument or anything like that, if they do directly tell you no, just walk away, um, but certainly dumpster diving, brilliant way to get these free packaging materials as well, so yeah, the, that as well as looking in these superstores, uh, brilliant, brilliant ways of getting boxes and uh, possibly other packaging materials as well, however you're going to find boxes more than other packaging materials in these sorts of places. So um, yeah, definitely go into these businesses. Shoe, uh, shoe shops are another one. So shoe shops um, obviously may be getting rid of their shoe boxes and they're a great size within the UK for Royal Mail small parcel size. So it means that um, they just fit within the Royal Mail small parcel guidelines and it means that I can uh, obviously um, get those and I don't need to be cutting boxes down to fit in the size limit. So yeah, shoe box, uh, shoe stores, maybe they may give away their boxes for free. Sometimes they don't though because sometimes they need to keep the shoe boxes for whatever reason. But sometimes they may give away shoe boxes for free and as I say, they can sometimes be a great size, especially here in the UK. Um, so yeah, I will leave it there guys, thank you very much for watching this course, if you did enjoy it then maybe you would enjoy some of my other courses I have listed on Skillshare, I actually have a uh, how to increase your eBay sales course, I have how to list an item on eBay, I have how to do an Amazon FBA shipment, so many different courses and I'm trying to upload as many as I can just to get the information to you guys obviously about these uh, different topics so yeah without any further ado I will leave it here because I can I can see myself getting off into a bit of a ramble so I will leave it here guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys